What's going on, everybody? We're on to some metal reactions. Kerry King's been stirring the pot a little bit. He come up with a new album, come out with a new song. Yes, it was written by Slayer, but Slayer's no longer in existence. They retired. They fired Dave. Tommy doesn't want to tour anymore. Carrie's the only one that really wants to continue on playing. So he's going to have to make his own path and continue on with what he wants to do. Now, I know he's going to get a lot of ridicule from a lot of people saying that he sounds like Slayer. Well, yeah. How can he not sound like Slayer? He's been in Slayer since the 80s. It's all he's done since the 80s the sound is not going to change his style of playing is not really going to change it's just going to be him he's going to have new people backing him granted he's got the old slayer drummer that replaced dave but that's not slayer dave lombardo is slayer in my opinion yes i saw them at clash of the titans back in the early 90s Seasons in the Abyss is probably one of my all-time favorite albums of theirs. Kind of dates me, but their newer stuff, eh, not bad, not great. We'll go through and review some of the newer songs just to have some content, but yeah, I'm not really a big, big, big gotta listen to it kind of fan when it comes to the newer Slayer stuff, the older stuff, love it. So we've got Rock Feed first. They're going in with why Carrie is angry over Slayer's retirement, which I'm sure he's going to have some good points on it. And then we're going to go uh, into Carrie claiming that Tommy doesn't play bass on the Slayer albums. That ought to be kind of interesting. And we'll finish it off with Carrie King's Idle Hands official video. And if it sounds pretty cool, we might even try and play it, see what we can get through it. Enjoy the video, sit down, grab your bucket of popcorn, let's go. Slayer is one of the most iconic metal bands of all time. The group officially retired back in 2019, performing their final show. But not everyone in the band was on board with that decision to retire. In fact, in a new interview, Kerry King revealed he is angry by the band's decision to retire and that he hates not playing. This begs the question. Will Slayer be the latest rock or metal band to emerge from retirement for a big money reunion tour? Now, in a new interview with Metal Hammer, Kerry King is once again opening up about the band's decision to retire, a decision he has said previously he felt was premature. And now, in this new interview, he says he felt anger over the band's decision to retire. It's a very revealing statement, and it makes you wonder whether or not we could see Slayer playing one-off gigs or even touring in the future, although it's long been rumored that Tom Araya was not a fan of touring. In a 2021 video commemorating... Alright, some, some of the things that a lot of band members have mentioned about touring, because I've been seeing a lot of fans and a lot of people saying, oh, well, this band doesn't tour, that band doesn't tour. You guys don't really understand the personal toll that touring takes. You're in strange lands with strange diseases. Your immune system is not used to it. You're constantly fighting disease. You're away from your families. If you can take your family with you, you're still not making a great deal of money. It's not all it's cracked up to be. Touring is for the fans, yes, but it's a miserable life for the musician. And if the fans don't understand that, then they're not looking far enough into life of a musician. These guys are old. I mean, I'm almost 50. These guys probably got at least 20 years on me. They don't need to be touring no more. Will Slayer get back? One guy's dead, the other one's fired. It's kind of like a Pantera reunion. Who are you going to sub in for the people that aren't there. Now I got a buddy that just went and saw Pantera and Lamb of God. And he said Zack knocked it out the park. Awesome. They found somebody to play the part of Dimebag. Granted, Zack Wilde is an amazing guitar player. 
but he's not Dimebag. And a lot of Pantera fans are freaking out over he's not Dimebag. I understand. But when things happen to the band and the band wants to continue on, you adapt, you move forward. If you don't move forward and adapt, then you die out. And it's the bands want to live for as long as they possibly can. Don't blame them. Keep the fans happy. Machine Head's 30th anniversary as a band, Carrie King admitted, quote, we quit too early and added, I hate fucking not playing. And now in the new interview with Metal Hammer, he said, I felt anger. What else? It was premature. The reason I say premature is because my heroes from my childhood are still playing. I can still play. I still want to play. But that livelihood got taken away from me. But anyway, on to the next chapter, I guess. We were on top of the world, and there's nothing wrong with going out on top of the world. It's a good way to go out. So bravo for that. But do I miss playing? Yeah, absolutely. King revealed he was also bummed out by the band's farewell tour. He said, We were going to all these places and all these cities where we have all this history. It's a bummer to think, I'm not going to see my friends there again. For those hoping Slayer could one day return to full-scale touring, don't hold your breath. In a 2019 interview with Noisy, Tom Araya did not make it sound like he was a fan of touring anymore. He said, After 33 years of traveling, actually more like 29 years of actual touring and traveling, after a while, it's just tiring. And people are like, oh, it must be fun. You travel, you see blah, blah, blah. I'm like, man, if you were in my shoes, you would think differently. It's funny. Recently, we went to Europe to do press for the new album. We did three days in London, a day in Paris, a day in Norway, two days or three days in Germany. And people are like, oh, that must be nice. Did you get to see much of Paris? Nope. And I look at them and say, see this room? Look around you. And they're looking around. This is my Paris. It's beautiful, isn't it? That's what I say whenever anybody asks me that, because we're always in the hotels doing interviews and everybody asks me that. Did you get to see much of Stockholm? I'll look. And that is the reality of touring. That right there. That That's what I was talking about. It is not glitz and glamour. You're stuck in a room doing interviews with people. You go from building to building to building. How was Paris? I don't know. Did you get to see anything? <laughs> a hotel room, an office room, a recording room, a radio station. The bus, it's no fun. It's not, it's not a vacation, it's work. And I'll show them the room. How do you like it? This is my Stockholm. It's beautiful, isn't it? I like the drapes. Look at the couch, wonderful. And then you open the window and go, this is my painting, my picture. This is what I see. Regardless of that statement, you hear <laughs> Carrie King wanting to play more in the future. It makes you wonder it whether or not true. we can see Slayer doing some one-off festival dates or something like that. Again, we've seen this happen so many times in the past, it's perfectly reasonable to wonder whether this could also happen with Slayer. Let us know in the comments, would you pay money to see Slayer? All right, now we're on to Music Mad. This, this is where Carrie was saying that Tommy doesn't actually play bass on the albums. This is funny. I, I can only imagine how funny this is. It's three minutes. Hang in with me, guys. We got the song coming up. Mariah, and I'm a singer and bass player for Slayer. Today, we've got some shocking revelations from Kerry King, the former guitarist of the legendary Slayer. Let's jump into the chaos. Dave! Kerry King unleashed his solo projects on the metal community, oh, unveiling Jeff. the first single and giving us a taste of what's to come. But the real bombshell came in the accompanying Rolling Stone interview, where Kerry dropped some unexpected revelations about his time in Slayer. It's not every day that a metal icon spills the beans about band dynamics, especially when it involves playing bass on Slayer records. Kerry's solo venture is making waves, and the metal community is buzzing with questions about Slayer's internal dynamic. Kerry King's interview disclosed a communication breakdown with Slayer's bassist vocalist Tom Araya. They haven't spoken since the band's farewell show in 2019, leaving fans wondering about the state of their relationship. 
the silence from Tom Araya raises eyebrows hands are left <laughs> in that the base. dark about the dynamics between these two iconic figures in metal. Kerry's openness about the lack of communication adds a layer of complexity to Slayer's farewell. Kerry King didn't hold back when he declared former Slayer drummer Dave Lombardo as dead to me. This candid what? statement adds fuel to the ongoing saga of Slayer's internal dynamic. The dead to me declaration sends shockwaves through the metal community. Kerry's frankness about his feelings towards Lombardo leaves fans wondering about the untold stories behind Slayer's farewell. One of the most surprising revelations was Kerry King admitting to playing all the bass parts on Slayer albums since the early 90s, not Tom Araya. This revelation has sparked intense discussions about the band's creative process. Kerry's admission about his role in Slayer's sound opens up a new chapter in the band's history. Fans are left re-evaluating their perceptions of Dean. Slayer's iconic bass lines and questioning the dynamics within the band. With Kerry King's solo project gaining momentum, the chances of a Slayer reunion seem unlikely. Kerry's reluctance to call it quits contrast with Tom Araya's readiness to move on, leaving fans wondering about the future of Slayer. Kerry's solo venture, titled From Hell I Rise, promises a continuation of the iconic Slayer sound. With a stellar lineup, including Mark Osegueda, Paul Bostaff, Kyle Sanders, and Phil Demel, fans can expect a unique musical journey. That wraps up the bombshells from Kerry King's recent revelation. What are your thoughts on the state of Slayer and Kerry's solo project? Drop your opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button. Guitar players can play bass. It's not that hard. A lot of guitar players play bass for their basses. Maybe Tom had other stuff to do. Being the vocalist, I can definitely understand why he's done touring. Your voice only lasts so long. Look at Sebastian Bach from Skid Row. Oh, wait, no. How about, <laughs> even better, we got Axl Rose. That now sounds like the pedo from The Simpsons. And... Oh, we can't, we can't forget about Motley Crue. Oh, yeah, he sounds so well, too. Jesus Christ. Can we... Can we make out the sentences that they're trying to say? Not anymore. It's kind of funny, though. All right, let's check out this Carrie King Idle Hand song. See what it has to sound like. So far, it sounds pretty slayery to me. Simple chord progressions, typical slayer changes, jamming.
Alright, not Dave Lombardo. Gotta remember, this is Carrie King's solo album. It is not Slayer. It sounds it's got a lot of Seasons in the Abyss sound to it. A lot of Seasons in the Abyss guitar sound to it. Bass sound. Vocals are eh, kind of close. Not too bad. Not 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 bad. They're, they're definitely Slayer-ish vocals to fit along with Carrie's motif. Drums? Eh, lacking in the drums department. Not that I can say I can play the drum parts. But they don't really seem too, too complicated to play. And when I start trying and play Dave Lombardo stuff, yeah, no, I end up walking away from the drum kit with the sticks down because it's just discouraging. The talent that that guy has is just absolutely mind-boggling. Guitar parts? Yeah, we might actually try and do a cover on this one because it really doesn't sound that hard. It sounds kind of Slayer-ish, a little bit easier, so... Eh, not so bad. Not something I'd buy. Something I'll definitely put on the Spotify list. Probably not listen to too, too often, but... I'm kind of on a Slaughter to Prevail kick at this point in time, so... Yeah, Slayer's cool and all, but they're not Slaughter to Prevail. Alright, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below about this reaction song. Yeah, I give it about a 6-7... Just a little bit above average for Slayer. For Kerry King. A little bit above average for him too. Yeah. Six. Six and a half. Maybe. Seven's pushing it. Seven's really pushing it. Let me know down in the comments below where you rate this song. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a great day.